Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video you should be able to use bond energies to calculate the energy change for a chemical reaction. In the last video we saw how to calculate the energy change for a reaction using bond energies, so in this video I'm going to give you two examples to try yourself. Here's the first one. You have to calculate the energy change for this reaction. We've got two molecules of hydrogen reacting with one molecule of oxygen to make two molecules of water. I'm showing you the structures of these molecules and the bond energies here. So pause the video and calculate the energy change for this reaction. OK, so you can see that on the left hand side we've got to break these bonds. And on the right hand side we're going to make these bonds. The energy needed to break the bond between two hydrogen atoms is 436 kilojoules per mole. However, we've got two molecules of hydrogen, so we've got two of these bonds. We need to put in 872 kilojoules. Remember that the positive sign shows us that we're putting energy in to break these bonds. The energy required to break the oxygen double bond is 495 kilojoules per mole. And again, the plus sign shows that we're putting energy in. Adding these values together gives us a total energy input of plus 1367 kilojoules. The bond energy for an oxygen to hydrogen bond is 463 kilojoules per mole. We need to make this negative because we're making this bond and making bonds is exothermic. Each water molecule has two of these bonds and we've got two molecules of water. So we've got four of these bonds in total. Multiplying minus 463 by 4 gives us a total energy value of minus 1,852 kilojoules. To calculate the overall energy change, we subtract 1,852 kilojoules from 1,367 kilojoules, giving us a total of minus 485 kilojoules for the reaction. This shows that the reaction is exothermic as energy has been released. Here's one final example for you to try. This shows the complete combustion of methane and oxygen. Pause the video and work out the energy change. OK, so on the left hand side we can see that we're going to break all of these bonds. And on the right hand side we're going to make these bonds. So first we've got four carbon to hydrogen bonds in the methane molecule. The bond energy of a carbon to hydrogen bond is 413 kilojoules per mole. Multiplying this number by 4 gives us a value of 1652. This needs to be positive as breaking bonds is endothermic. We've also got to break the double bond in the oxygen molecule. The bond energy of this is 495 kilojoules per mole. However, as you can see, we've got two molecules of oxygen, so we've got to multiply this number by 2. This gives us 990, and remember that this also has to be positive. Adding together 1,652 and 990, gives us a total bond energy of plus 2,642. On the right hand side we're going to make these bonds in the carbon dioxide molecule. The energy of the carbon to oxygen bond is 799 kilojoules per mole. However, each molecule contains two carbon to oxygen bonds, so we need to multiply this by 2, giving us 1,598. We also need to make this negative as we're making these bonds. OK, next we're going to make the oxygen to hydrogen bonds in water. The bond energy of an oxygen to hydrogen bond is 463 kilojoules per mole, and we've got two of these bonds in each molecule of water. However, we've got two water molecules, so we've got four of these bonds in total. Multiplying 463 by 4 gives us a total of 1,852. Remember, this has to be a negative number as we're making these bonds. Adding together minus 1,598 and minus 1,852 gives us a total of minus 3,450. To work out the total energy change for the reaction, we subtract 3,450 from 2,642. This gives us a value of minus 808 kilojoules, and that's our final answer, showing that this reaction is exothermic. You'll find plenty more examples of bond energy calculations in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to use bond energies to calculate the energy change for a chemical reaction.